Alright, so welcome back to another video on Fortnite Champions. This is like video number five on this. So we're finna. I'm gonna try to make this one kind of quick because I just got some Chicken Express and I'm finna fuck that bitch up. So yeah, man, without further ado, let's get right into it. Feels good. Feels real good. Good. Because you gotta knock this guy out with him. I got me some chicken, I'm some sure biscuit, and well, some fries. Shit for the smack. Bishop's got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring Yes, sir. Mine on the money, you feel what I mean? Stewart's entrance here. What a ring walk. Just brimming with confidence. Ready for the task at hand. Man, this dude gonna get knocked out. I'm just saying. It ain't nothing to me. I already got you once when I have really got a We welcome you to Boardwalk Hall here in Atlantic City for a heavyweight fight Touch them between the comeback kid Andre Bishop and Reggie Stewart. This the first fight since Bishop injured his right hand against Meldrick Johnson. In talking to trainer the right Gus Parisi in the lead up to this fight, he said, no worries at all. This dude's kind of right wrong. hand is just Stewart? fine. Well, if there were worries, he wouldn't let us know about it, but there should be no worries. Because they had plenty of time to rehab the hand and plenty of time to test it out in the gym, do sparring, do bad work. Should be fine. Stewart's hoping that his strategy of utilizing his jab pays off. How can it do so, Teddy? What will that bring to him? Well, it's going to bring a lot of things. First of all, defense, separation. It's going to keep his opponent at a distance where he can't harm him. If you're a fighter and a guy can't harm you, guess what? That's a good thing. The other thing is to set up his other punches. For those of you who question Andre Bishop's broken right hand, here's a good example of how he feels about it. He's throwing it. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Andre Bishop. Yeah, I ain't going down. I ain't going down to Stewart. Good job with this the This is kind of long, it though. Sudden, it was fast. It was direct I feel like I'm Stewart. missing a lot of punches. A headshot blocked. Right hand downstairs. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hagler Hearns. The far so good. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Teddy, in your training career, when you've gone up against a power puncher like we have in the ring tonight, do you prefer to have a fighter like this opposite him, a guy that'll fight on the outside? Yeah, I want a guy that's a little bit scared. He's got a darn good reason to be scared. If he's not, he's going to get knocked away from that power. Body shot, left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Yeah, all right. And we, we come both, to the end of round number one. All right, let's get right into round number two, though. Here we go. Round two is underway. He nearly lifted him off the ground. Ah. What an uppercut by Andre Bishop. Targeting that straight left hand. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Reggie Stewart. Right to the body. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Stewart's left now getting into the mix. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's Bro, what I still remember. Now I'm, I'm still clicking, like, the buttons from when we broke our right hand. He gets to him with an uppercut. Ooh. Oh, look at that. He there we goes go. down Knocked him out with my right hand. Time. It's like get a knockout with the right. Now that's nah, he did it. All week G -G. long, everybody was talking G -G. about the injury to the right hand of Andre Bishop. 
He just knocked out Reggie Stewart with that right hand. Isaac, which Bishop brother hits harder? Which Bishop brother hits harder? That's your question? I get these people. Well, neither one of them can punch like me. I can guarantee you that. But between the oh, two of them, dude, so so. Well, I'd say little Andre that, gets conceded? harder. I mean, the jailbird's washed up now. I mean, he was a genuine contender. The jailbird. Well, hey, bro, watch up, watch, watch who you speak on like that. Always been a pretender. Man, you're such a pussies. Andre Bishop versus someone Cooper. All right, well, let's, let's knock this Cooper From the up. Thomas and Mack Center here in Las Vegas, we present heavyweight action. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you as Andre Bishop looks to stay perfect as he faces Dwight Cooper. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Ooh. Touch him up and let's go. He looked big. Yeah, he looked chunky with it. He might be his tough opponent. I ain't gonna lie. This is gonna be a challenge Defeat for Dwight both Cooper. men. Although Andre Bishop feels like he has everything positive rolling in his career, coming off that victory against Reggie Stewart. I don't know if That's stomach punches would do much. That's a big striking blow to the head by Cooper, and a cut has opened up over Andre Bishop's right eye. In a way, it's a little bit of a Third. warning, Joel. Things to come. Now you have a to be a little opened bit up more on my eye that quick. A little more alert. Bishop able to land solidly against Cooper. Don't stay in one spot. I mean, this dude ain't doing that. And now we see that cut, and that's become a very inviting target. He has to make sure that he doesn't only see that cut, though, because he might get a little over-anxious, get a little heavy only on that side. Andre Bishop's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Andre Bishop moving now well against Cooper. When you have a lot of speed, how effective can a feint be? Oh boy, it could be really effective because your opponent is keyed up already. Before the bell even rings, he's jumping out of his shoes. He's waiting for something to come quick. So you let him think it's coming, he's gonna react to it. And then you go get him. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Oh my God. I'm getting my last oh, look, there's the blood everywhere round. I stick. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Cooper trying to get away from Bishop's attack. Dwight Cooper's left God hook landed damn, the most look damaging at me, bro. blow of this fight. And the blood above Andre Bishop's right eye is becoming much more substantial. That's a bad cut. Now the corner has to do their work. But the fighter, I usually don't say this, but he has to go out there and not worry about winning this round so much. He has to worry like about defense. Don't, don't get touched on that cut, cut anymore. Give the All work right. that the corner man did a 15, chance. So I guess he can hit it 15 times done. and Get that medicine into the cut. Bishop's now in oh, a spot he just that got many fighters have faced numerous times, and that is how do you deal with seeing your own blood and knowing that you have incurred some serious damage. Look at that cut around the eye. So for a fighter to be able to move to the top, he's got to be tested in a lot of areas. Sometimes the test comes when he's hurt. He's hit on the chin. He's dropped for the first time. Sometimes the test comes when you drop the other guy and he gets up and he comes at you. And sometimes the test comes in the form of a cut. When you see your first blood, when you see it, that it's your you blood, go. how do you behave? We're going to find out right now. Able to show you his blocking ability. <laughs> Halfway through this round here. Now that looks like a middleweight fighting a heavyweight there. Look at the hand speed from Bishop. And that's exactly the advantage he was going to need coming into this fight to beat the bigger man. Good headshot by Andre Bishop. That's a damaging blow. <laughs> Scores up top with a left. Uh. 
That's great stuff. He fires one right back after oh, taking one. Oh, he just one. got five Gotta love the face. word by Andre Bishop. Cooper's trying to land that right hand against Bishop. Well, if you're Bishop, you got to throw that left hand out there like you're testing hot water because that right hand is always there. A real concern now for Andre Bishop as Dwight Cooper is landing punch well, he got after seven punch punches against, against that face. cut eye. He Deep could get a TKO. Oh. And round number three is under. Oh, they went down. Two. Blocks that punch. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Get me back off the rope. Back to the good jab by Cooper. Cooper's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Nice work, nice work. Good there block. You go. Keep Bishop's doing what you're doing. You that sublime skill right now with that two punch combo. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. I like the angle that Andre Bishop just gave us right there. His opponent didn't like the result. He just ate an uppercut. See, this is exactly what Andre Bishop's corner has been telling him. You gotta keep those hands up. You have to protect that cut. He cannot allow Cooper to have a target to go after. Bishop snapping that jab. And you can see he Bro, wanted to do that as he right holds here. on there. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Right to the belt line. Goes up top again. That's what I want to see. Cooper's doing exactly what you should only got to be two a strong, on my defensive eye, fighter. You got to block those Keep punches away. We got it. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm full. Another round, and if it keeps Ooh, up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Come on, come here. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. There's Cooper putting out that jab. You can see the trouble that Bishop has had with it. Double jab by Andre Bishop. Come on. Shake it off. I will shake Halfway it up. through round number four. This dude's blocking right now. I'm gonna just block for right now. I'm gonna make him come Now to me. Bishop looking to counter Cooper gets that right hand over Cooper's jab. Takes a step back. Then the counter punch by Andre Bishop. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. And now just wasting Bro, everybody's don't grab time me. holding on. Right exactly. hand over the top, very accurate with it. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Bishop now utilizing that jab against Cooper. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Not one, much. but two. Good work with the jab up top. 
You know what I need you to do? Carissi game I appreciate plan it, being executed perfectly by Andre Bishop right. in that last round. He has a lot Round of momentum. Five. Yeah, now when he gets back to the corner, of Am I just going to have to knock him out while well, I, well, I can't let him get 15 punches on my like face? A guy like us, you remind him, hey, it starts with the jab. Always fundamentals. And now he oh. brings the left hand upstairs. God damn. Pace yourself. Oh, got this one. Bishop's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. That's a tried and true method that works out very well. The counter punch landing by Andre Bishop. See him timing that double jab to the head. Cooper's left working well. Wow, what a oh. turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. You can see Andre Bishop now is employing a lot of defense. He has those hands up high trying to protect that cut off. Yeah, this dude started feeling himself after he knocked him. I ain't gonna let him. from Bishop fifth round Bro, I hate that they just be blocking sometimes like you know I didn't think we'd be fight. saying this about him but Teddy right now like, what is, this? is a real question mark for Bishop yeah and it's hard to understand how it would be because he's always been All in right, shape before six. you look at his body I'm gonna let him rush me this but it looks like he's in shape you have to wonder if he assumed hey, something and was a little go. overconfident in this fight oh he turns it over right into a hook Andre Bishop's combination punching is working well here. Andre Bishop getting back to basics, landing that right hand. It's one thing for the corner of Andre Bishop to tend to that cup between rounds, but Bishop himself has to protect it, and he's doing a good job of blocking punches that are targeting it from Cooper. Good job with another left hand. Nice. Strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Bro, don't tell me this is going to go to round 10. Good flush shot upstairs. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. You see the accuracy now. One of them is the block. He did it there well. That's an impactful right hand by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop needs to be so careful right now that the ref doesn't stop that fight because Cooper is landing punch after punch against that cut eye. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Bro, I'm just trying to knock him out, bro. I ain't trying to make this last that long. I need to eat my chicken. It's getting cold. Staying away from those damn. head shots with his defense up top. And bro, just get knocked the fuck out already. Bishop's left, landing well. And round six comes to an end. Uh, round seven, nah. Uh. Here we go. Action to Take start uh, the seventh round. A big hook to the head by Andre Bishop. Boy, that'll put a smile on a trainer's face, landing a flush, strong hook by Andre Bishop. Good right hand. He one, scores two, with the one, jab. Two. Scores with the combo to the head. One, two. Bishop with one, a nice two. combination. A good old one, two landing one, two. on Dwight Cooper. One, two. One, two. A flush hook scores well for him. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one-two. One, two. Boom, boom. 
One, two. Cooper's blocking one, ability two. is doing well one, for two, him there. Three. Halfway through the seventh one, round. Two. Give credit to Dwight one, Cooper. Two. He has gone on the attack against that cut over the eye of Andre Bishop. He's trying to earn himself a TKO victory here. Able to block to that point. away. It was targeted for the his The sad head. thing is he ain't getting it. Keep working, bud. Oh, shit. Good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Bro, y'all don't understand how many times I've hit this dude. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Nice block by Andre Bishop. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. More than one punch downstairs. That can be damaging. Damn, he got Carissi 10 punches on that one. to Andre Bishop to control every second of the three minutes of a round. He did so in that last round. Yeah, and the way he did Bro, it was so by we are just gonna have to go at it. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. I don't, I don't sure think he's this the master that, of distance. Motherfucker ain't... I don't, I don't expect him to fall. Well targeted Man, hook eating by them Andre punches Bishop. Like if they was I don't know what he man. did in his preparation lead up to this fight. But it's paying off Come now, on, that training. He still looks great. Well, eat your hand because pussy. People, you know what? I get him some endorsements. I get him some commercials. You know, where it's good to the last drip. Or where you say, you know, it keeps flavor even after you're chewing it for about an hour. Well, this guy keeps energy. And He's showing what a skilled body. fighter he is with this counter punching. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Cooper's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Pace yourself. Keep moving. Keep moving. Good one-two from Bishop. He landed that right hand flush against Cooper. Combo lands to the head. By Cooper. Bro, just I just want this running. Back to just, the oh, what a it. hook upstairs! Last ten hey, seconds yeah, yeah. of the eighth round. Yeah. Really tell him to do. Just keep what you've been doing. Right, he is 10. dominating this fight. He's got to be way up on the score. Eight punches to the face. Oh, he definitely is. And what you want to do now is maybe test the waters. What kind of finish you are? Maybe. Not get reckless, but show that you could finish. That's a good left hand by Andre Bishop. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Come on. Took a shot, now he gets a left. Able to cut down that ring and just push his opponent against the ropes. Bro, just fucking die. You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case, because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. Halfway through this 10th and final round, a little something of his own, blocks a shot, brings back the uppercut. Keep pushing. Bishop's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Final minute of the final round. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Stay focused on the inside. Hit the body. Come on. Side to side, move your head. 
Andre Bishop's taking more and more punishment as this round continues. This fight could be over soon. And you just know the referee's taking All a real right, close look at it right now. If it doesn't turn around, I wanted to knock bro round, up, but I think I mean, this will be the last. Good action it's, it's throughout hard to knock a out close of. fight. Good solid yeah, close fight. Let's hear how the judges have it by sending it up to the ring for the official decision. Yes, sir. We all knew it from the start. Alright. DL has agreed to a fight between you and Kobe Nichols. If we beat Nichols, we'll be in the top ten. What are the conditions? He says Ooh, there aren't any. Top ten There's fighters. always conditions with DL. I'm sure we'll find out what they are. But we really need this fight. Shh, that's a bit. Like Shorty say, we really need this fight. But yeah, this is where I'm going to end this one off. Because I'm going to get right into my chicken. Feel me? I'm finna eat good. Make sure y'all eat today. Because why y'all starving? First off, and drink some water. Because you need it to survive. As well as food. And get some exercise today. And without further ado, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And stay tuned for the next one. Peace.